Hello and welcome to another section of this complete Node.js course. In the last section, we covered the basic concepts of Node.js. We learned about file handling, streams, event-driven architecture, etc. But now, we will move towards using Express.js, a framework for Node.js in our Node application. So, in this section, we are going to use Express, a robust Node.js framework, and we are going to use it for building a RESTful API. Using Express, we will create a server app, we will add routes for API endpoints, and we will also create custom middlewares and use them. And we will also use some built-in middlewares in our Express application. But before that, in this lecture, let's create a Node.js project and let's create all the necessary files and folders for that project. And we will also install the required third-party packages which we need for development, for example, Nodemon. And we will do other stuffs to get started with the Node.js development. So what I have done is, here I have created a new folder called Book My Stay. So this is going to be our project folder inside this folder. Currently it is empty. So inside this folder, we are going to create all the required files and folders for this project. So now let's go ahead and let's open this project folder in VS Code. So for that, what you can do is, from here, you can open command prompt. So I'll click inside this address bar and I'll type CMD. What it will do is it will open command prompt from this folder. And in here, I can simply say code dot and then press enter. And it should open VS code. And in the VS code, it should open that folder. So as you can see, that folder is opened. And here, I'm going to close this copilot option. All right, now inside this folder, this is our project folder. So inside this folder, we are going to generate the required files and folders. And the first file which we want to generate is the package.json file. If you remember, package.json file contains all the configuration for our project. And it also stores a list of dependencies which our project has on other packages. So here, I'm going to open VS Code built-in terminal. And from here, I can run an npm command in order to generate package.json file. Or what I can do is, I can also run the same npm command from command prompt. And that is what I'm going to do. So here, I'll clear the terminal. And here, I'm going to type npm init command. So this npm init command is going to initialize our project. Basically, it is going to generate a package.json file with the project configuration. And whenever we will add new dependencies to our project, it can be a dev dependency or a normal dependency, it will be listed in that package.json file. And you will also be able to see the version of the packages on which our project is dependent on. So let's run this npm init command to generate package.json file. When I run this command, it is going to ask us few questions and we need to answer them. So here, the first thing which we need to do is we need to specify a name for the package. Here, VS Code is showing me the default name which I can use. So my project name is book my stay. So you can see VS Code is suggesting me this name and there it has replaced the space with hyphens. So your package name should be URL friendly. It should not have space between the words or underscores or any other special characters. You can only use hyphens like this. So here I'm going to go with this name. If you want to provide some other name, you can type it here and you need to press enter. Now here, we also need to specify the version of this package. So the initial version is going to be 1.0.0. So I'm going to keep this default value and I'll press enter. Then we can also give some description for the package a short description of what this package is all about. In our case, we are going to create a web application. So for that web application, we are generating this package.json file. So here I'll put some description. Since we are going to create a web application using which a user can book hotel rooms in any location of the country. So this is the description I'm going to specify. So my app, it is a web application for browsing, booking and managing hotel stays with a simple and user-friendly interface. If you want, you can also give some other description, but this is what I'm going to keep. Let me press enter here. Now here, we need to specify what will be the entry point of our node application. 
basically which file will be the first file to be executed whenever our node application starts for now i am going to specify app.js as my entry point so instead of using index.js as my entry point you can also use index.js but here i am going to call the main file of my application as app.js so this is the first file which will be executed when we will start our node application then we need to specify test commands but for now i don't have any test commands so i'll keep it empty and i'll press enter then if you have any get repository which you can specify here where you are going to check in this code then you can also specify that get repository link but again i am going to keep it empty then here we can also put some keywords so for example i'll put booking hotel reservation so these type of keywords we can put here okay let's press enter then we can also specify who is the author for this package here for now i'll put my name as the author we can also keep it as empty this is not mandatory let's press enter or maybe instead of my name i'll put procademy here and let's press enter then for the license i'm going to use this default license which is isc and finally it is asking for our confirmation basically this will be the content which will be generated in our package.json file so here we can verify if all the properties and their values are fine or not if there is something which we want to change then we can change it but here everything looks fine to me so i'll simply type yes or i can also go ahead and i can directly press enter and when i press enter it is going to generate a package.json file for us inside our project folder so this is our project folder inside this project folder you will see that now a package.json file has been created and in that package.json file you will see the name of the package basically the name of the project the version for this package the current version the description what is the main entry point for this application so in my case i have specified it as app.js then if you want to add some scripts you can also add scripts here that we will see in a bit then what are the keywords author and license and this is it so we have created this package.json file for our node project the next thing which i am going to do is i am going to create an app.js file so if you see the app.js is going to be the main entry point the main file the file which will be executed first whenever our node.js application starts so inside this i'm going to create another file and i'll call it as app.js and inside this app.js for now i will simply add a console.log statement saying the app is running okay and now if i want to run this app.js file let me open vs code built in terminal and here let me select command prompt when i type cls i can clear the terminal here let me delete powershell and here i simply need to run node space and the name of the file which i want to execute in this case it is app.js if i press enter so you see the app is running and you can see this console message the app is running basically this console message so we have also added the entry file of our application which is app.js now for this project if you see now whenever we want to run this project we will have to run node space app.js command again and again but what i want is i want that whenever we do some changes in this file node.js should automatically pick it up and compile the application and rerun it for that we are going to use a tool which we have already used in our previous section and that tool is nodemon so here i am going to install nodemon okay so we are going to install this nodemon package for this project and this is going to be our dev dependency it is not a regular dependency it is a dev dependency we only need nodemon during our development we don't need it in production so here i am going to specify hyphen hyphen save hyphen 
dev. By the way, you can also run this command from the command prompt from here. So I will copy this command and I will run that from the command prompt itself. And now I can go ahead and I can press enter. But before that, we have a spelling mistake. The name of the package is nodemon. Okay, so let me go and let me press enter and it should install nodemon from npm. You can see nodemon has been installed successfully. Let's go to VS code and there let's go to package.json file. So in the package.json file, now you will see that there is a new entry called dev dependencies. And in that dev dependencies, we have this nodemon listed. And what version of nodemon has been installed? It is 3.1.10. Okay, so remember that nodemon is a utility that monitors for any changes in the Node.js source code and it automatically restarts the server whenever there is a change. And its primary use is to streamline the development workflow by eliminating the need to manually stop and restart your application every time you make a code change. All right. Now there is one more change you will notice in this project folder. You will see that a node modules folder has been added here. So when we installed nodemon from npm, if I expand this node modules folder, we should see nodemon here. So if I scroll down, here you can see this nodemon folder and in there we have all the files and folders related to nodemon. Here we have nodemon.js. So that has been added in the node modules folder. But this nodemon package has its own dependencies also. So all these other folders which you see, Either they are the direct dependency for this nodemon package or they are the dependency for the other dependency on which this nodemon package is dependent on. So all the dependencies and their dependencies has also been installed and added to this node module folder. All right, and now what we can do is we can use nodemon to start our application. So here I can say nodemon space app.js and if i run this command you see we are getting an error here so we cannot run this nodemon directly so what we need to do is we need to use npx and then nodemon space app.js and now if i run this command it should start our node application so now our node application is running and you will notice that it has not exited yet our application is still running we can see this message the app is running now whenever we change something here so for example if i add a space and if i save it you will see that it has recompiled our application and it has re-executed it so now we don't need to run our application manually again and again whenever we make some changes in our code it will be taken care by nodemon okay so you see whenever i save changes it automatically detects the change and it restarts the application now there is one more thing which i'm going to do now and that is in the package.json in the script section i'm going to add a script so the script key should come within quotes and here i'm going to call it as start and for this the value is going to be a string value where i will say nodemon space app.js okay and now instead of running npx nodemon and then app.js so let me stop this process this nodemon process by pressing ctrl c i will type y for yes and i'll press enter let's clear the terminal and now in order to run this app i can simply say npm start and internally it is going to run this command so if i press enter it should start our application again so you see our application is now running again but this time we are using this start script to run this application and with this the basic setup of our project is ready so we created a node.js project and we generated this package.json file for this project we also installed a dev dependency for this project which is this nodemon package now in the next lecture let's install and start using express for this project so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it 
Thank you for listening and have a great day.